All right, so in this video, I wanted to discuss if Caribbean CBIs, the Caribbean citizenship, so buying a Caribbean passport, uh, does it make any sense in 2023 and beyond? Is it, at, is it that interim step, that stepping stone? A lot of people, uh, interestingly, um, uh, some, some know what they're talking about, but some really don't. But they, they mentioned that uh, it's more like a stepping stone. Uh, it's the starting point, right? You want to get a quick citizenship, so you do one of these. So at least you have a citizenship, right? Citizenship is good, better than no citizenship. And we're talking about a second citizenship here. So that is where they feel the Caribbean passport is more like a starting point, some stepping stone of sorts. They don't know, a lot of people don't even know what uh, this stepping stone is. They just want to think of it like that or want to market it like that, right? Uh, getting some citizenship. So I wanted to uh, do my best to answer this question if it makes sense. So is it absolutely a foolish idea in this video? And I'll try my best to provide my um, response to this, right? But before we get started, uh, if you're here for the first time, I'm Jay and here we discuss investments that lead to residencies and citizenships. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It helps this channel grow so I can get you more valuable content news breaks, my analysis, and launch or cancellation of any program. I try my best to get you the news as fast as I can. So if you subscribe to this channel, you'll not only get that news faster, but it also helps the channel grow. Okay, now there are two things with the Caribbean um, options, the passports that you need to be aware of. Now, I cannot directly say whether they're good or bad. That doesn't make any sense obviously so but what i can say is that you got to be aware of a couple of things when it comes to the caribbean cbis one thing is that the reputation right the scams or allegations of some of the scams i should say allegations right uh, that have come out so the reputation is what it is the second is the tracking mechanism right these options are subject to a lot of tracking uh, if you have followed my channel, I have several videos on the mechanism that different agencies and banks put in place to track some of these options when presented. So let's say you're going to a bank, you're presenting a Caribbean passport. The bank is supposed to know what the deal is. They're supposed to know that you're using this passport. Are you trying to play games? So they will make sure you're not trying to play any games when you're using such options. And then obviously they will process you accordingly in the suspicious activity report if one of if one is filed uh, after you presented uh, you know one of the Caribbean passports. Uh, eventually you will be fine if you are clean. If you have anything to hide, or if you are playing some games, then you are the first person to be caught because they have all those mechanisms in place. They are not dumb, right? When someone sells passports, there's extra spotlight on some of these options. So from a banking or travel perspective, be rest assured, you will be checked, right? It's a very clean, it's supposed to be a very clean program and all efforts, all agencies, all machinery is gonna make sure it's all clean, neat and nice, right? So there are two things in that, one is the tracking and second is now the Western governments have put a big lens on these options. When you are applying to, let's say a program uh, if it is a Caribbean program, all five options are now under the lens. And when I say under the lens is that the U.S. met with uh, the Caribbean PMs and now they have very robust mechanism in place to make sure that everything is screened. There's auditing, there's interviews, there's revisiting of applications. So even if you have done something in the past and you've gotten away, uh, there's good chances that you're going to be caught and booked to task. Once it is found out, it's only a matter of time when you know that kind of thing starts happening. So you have not only the checks at the point, right? When you're, you know, when you're traveling, that's the third thing. When you're traveling, obviously the border guards are now more aware of your new passports or these Caribbean passports. So they're gonna make sure everything is in order, which they're gonna obviously do anyways. And secondly, a lot of governments are now threatening to revoke that visa-free access. The first major casualty was Vanuatu. Their Schengen access was terminated. Now, government, the UK government is very closely uh, tracking and watching the developments. Their claim seems to be that Chinese spies are using some of these options to infiltrate, to use the visa-free access. 
So they're pushing really, really hard to end the visa-free access. That is where the Caribbean options, they're smaller nations, it's not their fault. They have to give in and they have to comply with the requirements of these Western governments if they don't want their passports to be useless, right? If all the visa access is revoked, then why is anyone going to buy any Caribbean passport? So they want to keep that for their existing citizens. They want to keep that for the people who have paid for these passports. So it's but natural that they are going to comply. Now, I'm not saying any of these options are bad options. They're good options. But if you're thinking that you're getting this for some games, then be rest assured you're going to be booked to task. 